Hello guys, welcome to this session. Uh, we're talking about the soil erosion and let's see the various ways of controlling the soil erosion through the application of the various cons conservation techniques. So here I'll be talking about the various applied methods which we can use just to conserve the soil. So just to prevent the soil erosion or you can control the soil erosion. In our previous video, we were discussing about uh, the correlation or the relationship between the soil erosion and the population growth. So let's move on to this. But we start with a simple introduction that we know that the soil erosion has been a major problem in the past and uh, will become an even greater problem in the future as population growth continues. We've seen how these two they relate uh, in a previous session. Now to expand and these, as the population growth continues to expand and land resources, land resources are more intensively used, often to a point of destruction. Now it is third a great social economic problem, this soil erosion. Now this being the case, the soil erosion problem uh, should be solved by using any possible method and technique. Now here are the various methods of controlling the soil erosion, including as follows. The first one is the afforestation and the, the reforestation. Uh, afforestation is definition that is the planting of new trees in the areas where trees never existed before. So this is the first method which you can try to conserve the soil. So this is implying that you have to plant the new trees where there were no trees before. Arid and semi-arid regions, they should be planted with the trees to control the soil erosion. Uh, countries like, uh, take an example, Israel has managed to make the desert land uh, productive by planting the various trees. As you can see, it's just a simple illustration of how the planting of trees can take place. Moving on, talking about the reforestation. The reforestation, this it refers to the planting of trees uh, in an area previously occupied by the forest, but which hasn't been cleared off. So this is the other method. These two, afforestation and reforestation, they go together end to end. Uh, referring to that the reforestation is just planting of trees in area whereby the trees they were previously occupied uh, but they were cut so the process hereby just implies that you, you are you are trying to plant the trees again you're trying to plant the trees again to such kind of a place now this will help to replace the trees that have been cut so as to conserve the soil and the environment in general and the the reforestation here it looks like uh simply just a simple illustration how it, it may look like. Uh the second method uh, is controlling bushfires. Uh like clearing of forests uh for different reasons. The bushfires also clear the vegetation of the soil, making it there. Now a bare soil is easy to erode by erosion agents such as the animals, wind and the running water. Now, uh, apart from the removing the soil cover, the bushfires also they destroy the soil organic matter, and they also kill the soil microorganisms. So, this is very necessary that the bushfires they have to be controlled. So, this act uh, of bushfires it removes the binding agents of the soil particles, hence making it loose and easily eroded. Also, this means that uh, there's the this by this I mean the cutting down and the burning of the trees it just removes the binding agents which are helping the soil particles to stick together. So controlling the bushfires it ensures that the soil cover isn't uh, removed, hence preventing the exposure of the soil to the soil agents. So that's the most important thing that controlling the bushfires has to be taken uh, simply very necessary and careful just to ensure that the soil cover is not removed or destroyed, hence preventing the soil exposure to various agents of soil, such as rain, uh, wind, etc., etc. Now, for this reason, that's why the farmers are encouraged to refrain themselves uh, from using the fires to clear their farms in order to avoid making the soil vulnerable to erosion. Uh, should need allies to use fire for clearing land, measures should be taken to ensure that the fire does not spread uh, to other areas not intended for the cultivation. So the fires, yes, if they are must be used, then they have to be taken with quite careful measures just to avoid 
uh, the spreading of the bushfires. The other method is controlled grazing. Overgrazing, mainly as a result of over overstocking, should be avoided by enemies. Uh, when too many animals are kept in a relatively small area, they will eat up all the vegetation and make it bare. Now, also as the animals they as the animals move, they break up the soil with their hooves, making it loose. That's why, in order to avoid this, the number of animals kept in an area should match the carrying the carrying capacity of the land not overgrazing in a small piece of land. As we've said before, that is overgrazing is the result due to overstocking within a given land. Now the land may be padlocked or grazing may be done rotationally just to avoid uh, the soil to remain empty and bare. As you can see here, it's a simple illustration of this overgrazing and that's why it has to be avoided just to conserve the vegetation. The other method always is zero or reduced tillage or minimum cultivation. Now, each time the soil is dug or uh, this plowed, it is loosened. In some soils, it may be possible to sow crops uh, without plowing or digging, ideally among the crops uh, residue from the previous crop. Now, this is most likely uh, to be possible in loose soil with plenty of organic matter. So. Zero reduced tillage is very important just to reduce uh, uh, just tearing up the soil particles, making it loose to various soil agents, uh, soil erosion agents. So that's the other way or method of, of trying to control the soil erosion. The other way, way is constructing these gabions. The gabions are simply the rectangular wire mesh baskets filled with the rope that can be placed on slopes and channels for the erosion protection or stuck with plate retaining walls. Uh, the, these are there just to help to control the erosion in places with the steep slopes. So they control soil erosion by slowing the flow of water and the uh, dropping sediment and organic material behind the local wall as the water slowly leaks through it. Now, they have been used for decades uh, just to solve the problem of soil erosion in steep plants. So the gabions are especially useful in streams, in streams and channels where higher amounts of water flows are expected. So the gabions, as you can see, uh, that's how they look like, just how they are constructed, just to avoid the erosion in very steep slopes. So that's all I have, and we'll cover more and more of the other methods of conserving uh, the soil or ways of just uh, preventing the soil erosion in our next video. I'll be clear with the various points which we have seen in this video. Thank you.